Will your classic car insurance policy cover your teen driver if you let your teen drive your classic car? Well, the very first question you should be asking is, should you even let your teen driver drive your classic car? I have a teenager now who's learning to drive, and just a little bit ago, um, he took my Jeep across the front yard landscaping and missed the light pole by about this much only because I was able to crank the wheel from the passenger seat. So it would be a very bad idea to let this teen drive a classic car. Now, assuming your teen is a better driver than mine, should you let your teen drive your classic car? Well, if your classic car is on your normal daily driver policy, then your teen's probably got coverage for it. So that's not gonna be an issue. But if you have a separate policy for your classic car, I have State Farm for my regular cars and then I have Haggerty for my classic cars. And so on the classic policy, usually they're a little bit more strict about who they let on the policy, but it's restricted to the named person on the policy. Well, why do I have a classic car policy anyway? That's subject for another video, but basically classic car insurance is way less than normal driver insurance um, because you don't drive your classic cars very much. Um, and your classic car policy has an agreed value uh, statement to it, which means I can say my 1966 Thunderbirds worth $10,000. And if it's totaled, then they'll cut me a check for $10,000. If I had that on my state farm policy without an agreed value understanding, then I get what's generally called, well, you're gonna get a value based on a 57 year old car that's depreciated every year, which is actual cash value, which is gonna be a whole lot less than $10,000. So sorry to get a little bit off track here, but so here's what happens. If you've got a teen and you've got a classic car on your normal policy, teen can go tear it up as long as the teen's covered by your policy. If you've got a teen and you've got a separate policy for your classic cars and your teen's not on that policy, then if your teen drives that vehicle, there's probably going to be zero coverage from your classic car policy. So if your teen gets in a wreck, number one, your agreed value for your classic car is out the window because your classic car policy is gonna say, hey, there's no coverage at all. Too bad, so sad. Well, things could get worse. What if your teen hurts somebody and they file a lawsuit and you're looking at needing a lawyer, you're looking at potentially thousands and thousands of dollars in exposure, then what? Well, you would bring the claim to the normal policy that your teen is hopefully on, their everyday driver policy, and then some smart coverage lawyer would look at that and try to make a determination if your teen has liability coverage when your teen is driving a vehicle that's not on that policy. And that's something to be discussed on another day at another time. Presumably there will be some coverage, at least that's what we hope for. So what happens when my good driving son wants to borrow my T-Bird? Well, I can do one of two things. First, I contact Haggerty and say, hey, look, my teen is not on the policy. Can he drive the car? They tell me, no, if they're not on the policy, there would be zero coverage. All right, so then what? They said, well, we can look at his background in driving and we can add him to the policy. Well, when I added him to my normal daily driver policy, rates went up through the roof. I don't want rates for my classic car policy to go through the roof either. So that's not gonna happen. So the other option is you tell your teen, hey, you know what? Don't drive the car and so in this situation my son doesn't get to drive my 66 thunderbird if you have the same scenario at your house think long and hard about letting your teen drive a vehicle that's not going to have any insurance on it because that's probably when something bad will happen thanks for watching